This week's video will be me claiming the Munro Shahalian, which is one of Scotland's most popular Munros, because it's very accessible and it's pretty easy. The start location for Shahalian is the Brazer Foss car park, and there is people who work there and will turn you away if you don't get down early enough, so if you are planning on doing this one, then you need to get there early or they'll start turning you away. Shahalian is the 58th tallest Munro in Scotland, and it lies at an elevation of 1,083 metres. And the Watk Island websites suggest that it'll take between four Four to six hours. Me and my mate Chris started the walk at yeah, 29, and as you can see, the car park already started to fill up. Did you know that? No, I thought you filmed it all. <laughs> yeah, a lot of my mates thought I filmed the whole thing, but I only really filmed the points of interest on the walk. Huh? I think so. It was quite a cloudy day, so we didn't get good views of Shahalian from the bottom. It's just gonna get more and more popular though now. Yeah. Like, oh, I know. That was Chris trying to hype me and my 92 subscriber channel up. <laughs> Well done. Alright. Straps coming across. My back's quite sore. Oh. <laughs> We've made our way through all the gates now, and now we're going to start heading up the mountain. This is still one of the more easier Munros to do, even though it's still quite a hard thing to do if, if you're, especially if you're not fit, but it is one of the easier ones to do if you do plan on doing a Munro. Ah, uh, that's, that's why I'd probably have it lower. We saw a bird sitting on a rock, and I don't really know my birds that well. Well, the flying kind anyway. So if anyone knows what species of bird that was, just let me know in the comments below. Hi. This is us about halfway up now. Uh, it took us just under an hour to get here, so we're, we're making pretty good progress. At this point, there stopped being more of a path and started being just more quite rocky, so if you do have a smaller dog, it would be probably quite hard for your dog to get up the last few bits, but as, you can, as you'll see later on in the video, it does get much more rockier. If you've liked the video so far, please subscribe below, because I'm trying to hit 100 subscribers and then I'll be able to release my 100 subscriber special video. This is the rocky bit I was speaking about earlier, and as you can see, there's no proper path to walk on, but you can just find your way, and it, like as you can see, we're, we're in a, quite a big fog, and it was pretty easy for us to find our way. Yeah, I feel fine. Don't many people will be staying at talks to these views. Oops. Hi. So we got to the top after an hour and 52 minutes 
And at the top there is two two sort of cairns, like, like mini cairns as you can see, so I weren't actually sure which one's taller, because a lot of the time when you get up to the cairns, it's like an optical illusion almost of which cairn's higher, so went to both of them obviously, but yeah, I'm, st I'm still not really sure which one's the meant to be the taller one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I would say what? to you, um, this is on camera, Chris. <laughs> what you gotta say? <laughs> yeah, well, I couldn't put that in, so I'll just leave that there. So we are back to halfway, and we are finally getting below the clouds again, so we are able to get in somewhat of a view now. Look how many people there is. It's coming up. Whoa. And we didn't overtake that many people. Hi. Hi. I must be on. Yeah, okay. Uh, what's that? Seventeen thousand. See. Rocky. Really? Is that? Oh. oh yeah. And the dog ran completely past me. Right, I've got a question for you, Chris. At five grand, would you head back up and down again? For five grand? Yeah. <laughs> Probably would, actually. Would you? <laughs> yeah. Five grand. Would you? Yeah, it's not a bad walk. I think I would. I'm surprised at how long it took him to answer that, because it wasn't even a bad walk. We got back to the car park just over three and a half hours, which is half an hour less than uh, what Kylan's website suggested. So, yeah, it was it was quite a, it was quite a good walk. And now let's get into some stats. So, as I mentioned at the start, Shalian is 1,083 meters high, and it's the 58th tallest Munro, and it was actually my 15th Munro that I've done. It is a steady incline all the way up, and total distance is only 10.6 kilometers. We started at 8.42 and finished at 12.27 so the total time it took us was 3 hours and 45 minutes but we did stop for a 20 minute lunch so the final time was 3 hours and 33 minutes. With my new rating system I'm giving this one a speed of 5 stars just because it was, it was so fast you can get it done so quickly. The difficulty is half a star and the scenery was one and a half star. It would maybe be more if, if I could see more but and it was slightly boring than the rest of them so I would give it only one and a half stars and the final rating would be four and a half stars just because it's such a beginner friendly Munro the uh, yeah it's just one you should definitely do if you're just starting that's why I'm giving it such a high four and a half star rating. Thanks for making it to the end of the video if you've missed any video in my Munro bagging series Go check it out now and can you please subscribe so I can hit my 100 subscriber goal. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Because you made it to the end of the video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future hillwalking videos. I'll see you in the next one.